Hoopla Kids. Annie, Ben, and Mango. Annie, Ben, and Mango. Annie, Ben, and Mango. You never know where they're gonna go. The Towering Mango. Wow! That's bigger than I thought. It has to be big. It was built by Gustav Eiffel as the gateway entrance to the 1889 World's Fair. Where's Mango? Uh-oh. Monkey photobomb. What? There's a monkey in my picture. I'm so sorry. Mango's a monkey photo hog. You look good. Hi, I'm Annie. This is Ben. And you've already met Mango. I'm Justine. I didn't mean to shout at your monkey. <sighs> My grandmother lives in the United States and she misses Paris. So I want the perfect picture to send to her. Mango! My camera! Give Justine back her camera! Mango! Come down here! Quickly, the elevator! Longest stairway I've ever been on in my life. And this is just the first floor. Wow, a glass floor. Look how far up we are. We, oui. and there is also an ice rink. No way! So cold. He's climbing high air. Not again. To the stairs. Encore. Encore is French for again. Encore. That was a lot faster than the first floor. This is the main viewing area for the Eiffel Tower. Telescopes! We can find your monkey with this. If we have change. I'm a dog. Don't look at me. Voila! Voila is French for there. Or in this case, here we go. Where are you, Mango? I know you're out there, you monkey maniac. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you think you're a funny monkey? Well, we'll see who lasts last. To the elevator! Encore! Hey, we made it! Restaurant? Oui, it's the Jules Verne restaurant. Very good food. Jules Verne was a French writer. He wrote 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. The submarine story you read to me? Yeah. So he writes and cooks. <laughs> no, he passed away a century ago. But everyone loves his story so much. They name the restaurant after him. There he is! <laughs> He's taking our photo. Then let's pose. <laughs> the 
There he goes. Yeah, but we're ahead of him this time. It's a race to the top. This was a fun chase, but you should never take someone's camera without asking. What beautiful pictures! Wow! Only a monkey on the Eiffel Tower could get those pictures! My grandmama will love this. Mango, you planned this. Merci beaucoup, Mango. Merci beaucoup means thank you very much. Come, let us have lunch and I will email the pictures to my grandmama. Yeah, I'm starving. Voila! Grandmama has her pictures. But this picture is just for us. A souvenir of our day at the Eiffel Tower. Souvenir is a French word that means to remember. That's not the only souvenir I'm taking with me. I've got a frozen belly from the ice rink and sore paws from the stairs. Thanks, Mango. <laughs> Mango, he's a funny monkey. <laughs> The monkeys, the clown. The Minotaur's Maze. Yeah. Mango wants to know why we came to this island. This is great. There are ancient ruins. That means really old buildings everywhere. They were built to honor the Greek gods. Like Hercules. We met him in Greece. Yeah, just like Hercules. Thousands and thousands of years ago, Crete was ruled by King Minos, who was the son of Zeus, the top god. Minos was famous for having a maze built that nobody could escape. What's a maze, Annie? It's like a puzzle, only it's big enough for people to walk in. The trick is to find your way out. Minos's maze was supposed to be the hardest maze ever to get out of. Of course, there was also a huge, scary... <coughs> I hear Mango, but I don't see him. <coughs> Found him! Mango, are you okay? <coughs> he fell on some soft moss! You stay here! Oh, wow! Look at the tunnels! Oh my gosh! It's another picture of King Minos! It's a secret entrance! I love secret entrances! Come on! Oh my gosh! I think this is the maze of King Minos! But who lit all the torches? That didn't sound good. We can't leave that way. Maybe we can find whoever lights the torches and they can show us the way out. Uh-oh, dead end. Uh-oh, I got all excited and didn't pay attention to where I was going. We're kind of lost in the maze. Didn't you say this was the hardest maze ever to get out of? It is. <laughs> Who's that? Remember that huge, scary thing I was going to tell you about? Yeah? That's him! The Minotaur! <laughs> Run! No, wait! You don't know the way out! None of us do! This always happens. You don't sound mean or dangerous. Like the stories? They're just stories. All I want is to get out of this maze. Help me find our friends, and we'll all get out together. Really? You mean that? You won't just run away and leave me here like everybody else does? They do? 
right after they scream in fear. I won't do that, okay? I'm Annie. My friends are Ben and Mango. I'm Stavros. We've got to get out of here! Where's Annie? Well, what if the guy with the cow head has her? Yeah, the, the Minotaur. Come on, we've got to go save her. This looks like the right way. They all look like the right way. I was the first one in the maze when King Minos built it. If we can find Ben, we can get out. Ben! Mango! We're here, Annie! We'll save you! Yeah! Uh, another wall! And now I've lost Mango! Oh, there you are! We're on the other side of the wall! We? Who's with you, Annie? Stavros, the Minotaur! It's okay, he's a friend! Hello! If I could just get to the top of the wall, I could get us all together! No problem, I'm part bull! Whee! That was perfect! And fun! Hi, guys! I can see most of the maze from up here. Everybody, follow me! Okay, Ben and Mango, turn left. Stavros, turn right. I see the center of the maze. You guys are... Are you okay? Yeah. I, I think I'm all right. I'm yes. fine. I'm fine. Whew, I'm good. Here I come. Catch me. Stavros, this is Ben and Mango. Ben and Mango, this is Stavros. Sorry about running away like that. Happens all the time, but you're the first to apologize for it. Mango wants to know, what do we do now? We use your nose to sniff the trails of all the people who found their way out. That's a great idea. <laughs> I've got the scent, and I know where they went. Follow that nose! And the nose knows! Ta-da! <sighs> Freedom at last! It's been thousands of years. You should explore like we do. Go places, see things, have fun. That's a great idea. Here, take my compass. It'll help you find your way wherever you go. If it were not for you three, I would still be lost in the maze. Take this, Annie. King Minos had it minted to celebrate the maze. Oh, thank you. This is beautiful. Goodbye, friends. I hope we meet again. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Have fun. Woo, woo, woo. Wow, was that fun or what? It sure was. In fact, it was amazing. Get it? Amazing? Oh, Ben, bad joke. <laughs> the ghost ship. This fog came out of nowhere. I can barely see my own hand in front of my face. I can't see the beach. This is really spooky, like Halloween. There's another boat, Annie. A big one. Annie, it's coming right at us! I'm trying to get away! Wow, that was close! <laughs> that old ship barely missed us! Mango! Mango, come back here! Come on, Mango! This isn't our boat! We have to leave! Leave? But you just got here! Just got here! 
Ghost! Ghost! Run! Hide in here! I hope this keeps him out. Arr. You found the dining room. I hope you're hungry. Uh, hungry! We don't need to be afraid. Scary ghosts don't invite you to dinner. Well, this looks delicious. I'm Annie. This is my dog, Ben. And that's Mango. Pleased to meet y'all. I'm Captain John. And this is me first mate and parrot, Susie. <coughs> Those are really light biscuits. All I've got is ghost food. I had to use a ghost banana to bring your monkey and you here. Why did you do that? Because I need your help. I've been trapped in this ghost fog for 500 years. It was back then that I lost me compass and got lost. Me crew abandoned ship and cursed me to spend forever in this fog. It's this cursed fog that turned me and Susie into ghosts. And if you three can't help me out, you'll become ghosts too. I don't want to be a ghost dog. That's not going to happen. I always take my compass with me when I get on a boat. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I found a map of the ghost fog world. Comes with a curse, you know. A compass is the key to unlocking the map. Now we can find north. The magnetic needle on the compass always points north. Aye, now we can sail out of the ghost fog. First things first, all hands on deck. Aye, aye, Annie. Okay, everyone keep an eye out. We're looking for an island or big rocks. Something on the map that tells us we're sailing to the way out. <laughs> it's an island. We're heading right for it. Good thing this is a ghost ship. A ghost island can sink a ghost ship. Hard port to the left. Did it! Whew! We're okay! High five! Well done, matey. Now that we're past the island... We have the rocks and the giant wave to get past. Rocks ahoy! Does the map show you the way through the rocks? Aye, that it does. We have to sail between those two rocks. Take the bow, Annie. The front of the ship. Tell me where to stare. To the right, Captain John. Too much. Back a little to the left. We made it! Wow, great job, Captain John. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the giant wave. Captain John, what are we gonna do? We turn straight into the wave. It's our only chance. Ah, only chance. Into the wave? That doesn't sound right. Trust Captain John, he knows what he's doing, I hope. Whoa! I'm out of the fog. It's clear sailing. And you're not a ghost anymore. The curse is over. Ah, clear sailing. That's
That was so exciting. What are you going to do now, Captain John? Now that me and Susie are real again, we're going to sail the world. Ah, sail the world! For us, the ship from the dining table? Me and Susie want you to have it so you never forget our adventure at sea. We love it! Thank you, Captain John. Come on, Susie. Next stop, Jamaica. It's beautiful this time of year. Bon voyage! Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Goodbye! We've got to get back to land, Annie. And you gave Captain John your compass. There's one in the cabin. Every modern boat has one. The compass is pointing north, and so is Mango. He's not going to monkey around with directions. Ugh, that joke, Ben. The worst jokes are the best jokes. Sumo Mango. Well, Mango sure is happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Japan's Jiko Kodani Monkey Park. You love dog parks. I love amusement parks. Monkeys love monkey parks. Mango wants to know, if this is a monkey park, where are the monkeys? I haven't seen any either. That's because it's winter, and the monkeys are all up there. And it's very, very cool. It's not cool. It's hot, as in hot springs. Don't worry, Mango. There are monkeys here. Look in the pool. All the snow monkeys come to the hot springs to get warm in the winter. Are you going in with the other monkeys? This looks serious, Ben. Is Mango in trouble? Not really. The big snow monkey is Snow Monkey Mom, the head monkey. He says Mango has to prove he's worthy to sit in the hot springs. How does he prove he's worthy? He wants him to win something called sumo? What's that? Sumo? Oh, that is so great! Mango, you're going to learn sumo. I love sumo. I watch it on TV with my grandmother. Me and Mango both want to know the same thing. What's sumo? That's sumo. It's ancient Japanese wrestling. You win by pushing your opponent out of the circle. Or by making your opponent touch the ground with any part of their body other than the bottoms of their feet. And all the wrestlers respect one another whether they win or lose. Come on! You gotta get ready for your sumo match. You have to learn how to wrestle. I think Mango's cold wearing just a diaper. It's not a diaper. It's a mawashi, a sumo belt. And we're going to get him warmed up real quick. Now, do what I do, Mango. We're going to do an exercise called Shiko. This helps with your balance. Wow, this should warm up Mango real good. Or not. Okay, we're going to try some Butsukari Gekko. Huh? They're pushing exercises, so you get strong enough to push your opponent out of the circle. Mango, you try to push Ben backwards. How are we doing? I think we should switch places. Ben, you push Bango so he can learn how to stop you. Okay. <laughs> is skiing part of sumo? It is now. <laughs> Look at him go! The walk back up the mountain will be good for his legs. Looking good, Annie. I love this kimono. And I get to be the gyoji, the referee. 
Snow Monkey Mo was impressed with how much you know about sumo. By the way, Mango wants to be known as Mangoshima. It's his new sumo name. Let's get started. Best two out of three matches wins. Get ready. Go. <laughs> Winner, round one, Snow Monkey Ma! Ooga. You can do it, Mango. There's two more matches. Be smart. Be clever. Be Mangoshima. Round two. Ready? Wrestle! <laughs> Winner, round two, Mangoshima! One more, Mangoshima! You win this, and you win the match, and you get to soak in the hot springs. Round three. Ready? Wrestle! <laughs> Mangoshima is doing a good job. Yeah, and Snow Monkey Ma is twice his size. I'm his coach, you know. Snow Monkey Ma wins! Don't be sad, Mangoshima. I think you did a great job. What's he saying, Ben? It's all good. Snow Monkey Ma wanted Mango to prove himself worthy, and he did. It wasn't about winning, it was about trying his best. Snow Monkey Ma says you were a good referee and he wants you to keep the fan to remember him by. Oh, thank you so much, Honorable Snow Monkey Ma. Shall we join them, Benoshima? Why, Anikama? Are they coming apart? Hey! They know that joke in Japan, too! Bad jokes are known all around the world, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> kids. The Towering Mango. Wow! That's bigger than I thought! It has to be big. It was built by Gustav Eiffel as the gateway entrance to the 1889 World's Fair. Where's Mango? Uh-oh! Belly is so cold. He's climbing high air. Monkey photo bomb. What? There's a monkey in my picture. Monkey! I'm so sorry. Mango's a monkey photo hog. You look good. Hi, I'm 
Annie, this is Ben, and you've already met Mango. I'm Justine. I didn't mean to shout at your monkey. <sighs> My grandma Mel lives in the United States and she misses Paris. So I want the perfect picture to send to her. Mango! My camera! Give Justine back her camera! The stairs. Whew. That's the longest stairway I've ever been on in my life. And this is just the first floor. Wow, a glass floor. Look how far up we are. Oui, and there is also an ice rink. No way! 